Growing up, and even now I feel as if I'm in a minority when it comes to relating to the people I interact with on a daily basis in terms of music. In high school, it wasn't uncommon for someone to ask me why I listen to what I listen to when I can't understand what they're saying. I recall a specific event in ninth grade English class. During our 10 minute allotted time to write our daily journal subjects, the teacher would allow us to bring in a CD to listen to, and the only two I ever brought in were Hymns and Love Said No, and The Black Dahlia Murders Nocturnal. From the get-go of Nocturnal's first track, everything went black. I was instantly looked at weird. Looking back, I suppose I brought that on myself for not easing the class in with something like Escape the Fate or Avenge Sevenfold. But music comes in all shapes and sizes, just like anime and truthfully any form of entertainment. Maybe it's because I'm more versed in music than any other medium outside of anime, but I find the similarities to be astounding, especially when it comes to stuff like toxicity, elitism, and criticism. I flash back to a certain occasion every time I start to think about this, and that's when I got my first iPod and began to put music on it at my friend's house down the road from where I lived. I specifically remember putting the entire album The Crusade by Trivium on it when my friend had questioned why I'd be listening to such old music. As he listened to the year's big hit, crank that. We're talking barely a year in difference between the releases here. That might be an exaggerated example, but you can clearly see a similarity here. The amount of times I hear people say that they don't want to watch older anime for reasons X or reason Y is kind of insane. Some people cling to the argument of older releases versus newer releases and get caught up in it, but personally speaking, I found enjoyment and love in both old and new. So it's more of a just give it a shot and you might be surprised what you find kind of thing. And what about the idea of people not wanting to watch mecha shows because they think the genre is literally just about the robots and nothing else? Or the people that have stepped their foot into mecha thinking that Evangelion, as much as I love it, is the only one with a deep story behind it. It's almost like the people that listen to Bodies once and have it on repeat as their only song from Drowning Pool in their playlist. Seriously, Sinner and Full Circle are some great songs, and Gundam is pretty awesome too from the little that I've actually seen of it. A genre isn't constrained by just its surface layer. As a little anecdote, there used to be this kid on my high school bus that always wanted to listen to music with me. He was a good friend of mine's little brother and kinda threw a fit if you ever turned him down. I shit you guys not, this was a daily cycle of bodies, new divide, skater boy, down with the sickness, almost easy, and maybe a few other songs that I forgot. Mind you, he had to cycle through entire albums to find these songs, as that's how my original iPod was set up. At any point in time, he could be like, I want to listen to something new. It's just kind of sad that we live in a society that stays within its comfort zone with entertainment, only devouring the new things and remembering what has worked in the past. Which is why recently I've been falling super in love with Falling in Reverse's work over the past year, as well as Bring Me the Horizons. But much like anime, I stopped keeping up with recent music outside of those two groups. Each season I may pick one or two shows to watch, after carefully deciding what sounds interesting to me. Decadence was a great example of something that turned out extremely amazing recently. But something like Demon Slayer, which I had originally intended to make a video just on it, but I really had nothing of value to say once I got writing, just kind of started to fall flat after I watched it. Really the highlight of that story for me is going to be the upcoming movie. Afterwards, I don't really see myself watching the rest of the story in an anime form. But one could say, with either of these mediums of entertainment, why not just let people enjoy what they enjoy? And that's not necessarily the point. I may get coined as an elitist, but I want people to jump outside of their comfort zone. I want people to explore and discover new things. Because not only might they find something that they didn't know they would like, but they might understand people that do like different things just a little bit more as well.